Hey guys, welcome to Winnie Studio and welcome to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. And yes, it's been a while. So sorry guys, I'll try to be consistent uh, from now onwards. And yes, uh, today we'll be creating a very simple poster design as always in Photoshop. And I'm trying to share some of my techniques that I use on my real client projects. And hope you guys are gonna love this one and hope you will learn something new from this tutorial too. And thank you so much for all your support and comments and especially uh, the one who are supporting on my Patreon. Thank you so much guys and it means a lot to me. And with that note, let's dive into the video. So here we are in Photoshop and first thing first, let's create an artboard. And for that, I'm going to press Ctrl and N. And let's do it. And then I will just go with the four by three and then let's change the orientation uh, to the portrait mode and let's keep the resolution as 300 color mode to RGB let's change it. let's keep the bitrate as 8, of 8 bit <laughs> and let's keep the rest as default and let's click on create and then right after that uh, let's uh, drag and drop this image right over here and then let's convert it as a smart object and then let's control T let's press it and then let's add a little rotation yep something like that and let's add a warp yep i'll just keep it something like that and let's click and enter and then right after that let's drag and drop another image i'll just use this one and these are downloaded from unsplash.com Let's keep it under this layer, Control T. Let's uh, make it a little smaller. Yeah, I'll just keep it somewhere right over here. And then let's create a layer max. Go to brush and let's erase some of these hard edges. Just like so. And let's add a layer max on this one too. Let's go to brush and let's erase uh, the other part. So let's increase the brush size. And let's erase those parts. Let's make it the opacity 100%. Yep. Let's erase those parts. I don't need those. And let's add a hue and saturation. Just like so just on above this layer, I think like the bottom one is more saturated. Let's drop it down just a little bit. Yep, maybe maybe somewhere around here looks good to me. And now let's add a background solid. So I'll just go over here and let's use a kind of darker color, yep, just like that. And from there, let's just erase those patches. Let's keep it just like so. And then uh, let's drag and drop the main player image. So let's go over here, drag and drop right around here. And let's keep it under this layer. Control G. Let's make it a little smaller. And let's maybe, let's keep it just like here. And if you guys are following my channel, then you guys probably know that I have some favorite brushes that I use almost in all of my design work. So again, I'm going to use that brush. So it's a particle explosion brush. And now let's create a new layer. Go to brush. And uh, let's go for... Uh, let's see. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for this brush, yep. Yeah. And let's create a kind of lighter, warmer color. Yep, yeah, just like that. And let's add a patch. And let's create a one more layer. Let's add one right over here. And then let's create a one more layer on top. Let's make it a little bit smaller and let's add one right over here. Now let's go for another brush. Let's see. 
let's add some particles things to so create a new layer and plug this one let's see let's go for this one i guess and then let's add some particles just like so and let's go for another brush yep this one let's create a one more layer let's add some particles just like so and let's go on the very bottom create a new layer let's go for a kind of brighter color yep just like that and let's go with kind of same brush and let's add a little rotation and let's add some particles and let's see let's go for another brush yep i guess this one let's create a one more layer let's go for a pure white and let's add a one right over here and let's go on very top create a new layer and let's add one one right over here too and let's erase these bottom parts just like so and then again there is some hard edges right over here let's fix that too so select this layer create a layer max go to press and then let's erase uh, these hard edges just like Yep, just like, just like so. Add this tree background right over here. Control G, let's make it a little smaller. Yep, just, just like so. And let's change the blending mode to uh, soft light, yep. Let's change the background color to kind of darker bluish tone. Yep, maybe something like that. And let's create a layer max for this layer. Go to brush again and then let's erase those hard edges. So for that I'm going to use a soft round brush. And let's make it a little softer. Yep, just, just like so. And let's create a one more layer on very top. Go to brush. Brush. Let's change the color to kind of yellow color. Yep, just like that. And let's add a patch right over here. Let's change it to screen. And let's keep it on top. And then let's add a one more layer. Now let's change the color to a little whiter, a little lighter and let's add a one more thing, one more stroke and let's change the color to overlay. Yep, just like that. Maybe let's drop down the opacity just a little bit, yep, just like so. And then let's add a color lookup and from here click on load. And I'm going to use my cine lot. So select this one and click on load. So this is what we got. And then let's do a simple color adjustment for this layer. So go over here on the clear layer, go to filter. Let's go to camera raw filter. And then let's uh, decrease the contrast. Let's increase the shadows and drop down the highlights yep increase the clarity and dehaze a little more let's drop down the texture just like so and yep let's keep it something like that and go to the detail tab and increase the noise reduction and increase the color noise reduction too let's increase the sharpening just a little bit and go on here and let's drop down the exposure just a little bit maybe let's drop down the whites too yep let's keep it 
somewhere over here and let's click on OK. And then let's do the same thing for this uh, image. So select this one, go to filter, let's apply, let's go to the camera raw filter and let's apply the previous setting and let's see how it looks and then for this one I think I'll just keep the exposure at something like that and then let's increase the highlights for this one and let's increase the texture for this one yep and let's click on okay and I'll just keep it something like that and let's go on very bottom let's create a one more layer and I'll like to add some particles right over here too so go to brush and let's go for uh, another particle explosion brush yep let's use this one and I'll just change the color to kind of a lighter color and let's add some particles just like so and maybe let's drop down the opacity just a little down yep just like that and let's go over here let's drag and drop this flag image right around here let's change the blending mode to soft light Control T and then let's create a layer max go to brush and let's go for a general soft brush now I'd like to erase some of these parts just like so and let's add some text so go over here and I'm going to use this font like that and that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you in the next video bye bye